All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, uh, Global, right, tweeted out, uh, all right, here's, like, the top five most owned LRs and stuff like that. Um, now, the LR gods, funny enough, were actually in here, which is pretty crazy to me. Um, I think this just speaks mostly to how ridiculously, insanely popular this character is, that they would be on a top five most owned list um, is really quite nuts. Um, and so I just want to do a video and then just kind of talk about the fact that, I mean, these two characters, so LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and then the LR gods, I think I actually want to turn down the zoom one notch. Yeah, one notch is good. These two characters are going to be getting their EZAs, and it's actually not that long away that's going to happen. And it's like, we've just looked at what some of the recent EZAs have been. Um, in terms of these, like, Dokkan Festival. So let's just kind of look at the quick history of this. So the first ones we saw was the third anniversary LRs. Um, February 22nd, these two easy aid. Funny enough, they have not been on a single banner since. No banners whatsoever. They have never returned since they got their easy aid, which is, it's, it's stunning. It's, it's a crazy thing to think about, but they, it's true. They've never been on a banner since they came out. Now, I actually think, you know, this maybe could be a separate video I'll do down the line, but I think that there's a chance we could maybe see these guys super easy A during the 10th anniversary as well, which would be, uh, they did specifically say, Dokkan Fest exclusives and LRs for super easy A's. These two are kind of thought of very negatively, but I mean, most of the community was, you know, is a, are global players. Um, you guys weren't there when the red zone stages, Broly, Bojack, um, Janemba, Omega Shenron, Super 17 originally dropped and they were so difficult and we had no good characters, even though these characters aged fast, these two right here, um, they were, you know, like top five units in the game the day they easy it or something like they were they were it's just if you go back and look the first half of 2022 almost every character is designed quite horribly um they're either really undertuned compared to what the bosses were or they just weren't really that good uh to begin with or had bad design or something like that and that's mostly the thing right it's 7th anniversary and ninth anniversary had similar levels of power creep, but the difference is, in 2024, they've just given us boss-said character after boss-said character, whereas they didn't really do that in 2022. So there was those two. Uh, then, in the same year, they gave us the Super LR Super Saiyan 4 EZAs. This is, again, a very similar thing, where history looks at these two guys very unkindly, their EZAs, but when they first dropped... Uh, they were like hovering around, you know, top five, top 10 level. They were very good. And there was very few characters that were able to really match up with these big bosses the way they were. There was very, very few characters at the time. Uh, again, it, it's like if you're a global player, you know, you guys would have already had a ton of 200% leaders and, and a lot of characters that just would have, you know, seemed better. So these LR Super Saiyan 4s don't really seem to... Um, crazy, but, you know, again, back then, when they first came out, they were musts, right? And so after that first year where they did, you know, the third and fourth anniversary LR EZAs, then now we get to it, again, February 24th, the fifth anniversary, Blue Fusion's EZA, and these guys are, you know, we're pretty much around top five level. These guys still, to this day, have a ton of tools that make them very good options. Even in ninth anniversary content, they can perform well. Um, one of the big things is that in base, they both suck. I mean, they're just not really good at this point. But as, as a third attacker in the turn, they do have the 70% chance to dodge, right? So, you know, best case scenario, they'll start in slot seven. You know, they show up on turn three. You have 70% chance to dodge in slot three. You float them off. Then they'll come back turn six, and they have a hundred percent dodge, and then you could wrap the fight up. So it's like they, you know, essentially you could have like two turns. One of the two turns they have, they have a hundred percent dodge. Could be really, really impactful, right? 
So because of how strong of a tool this is, uh, these two are probably going to remain useful for a little while. I, it, it's just their design is very strong, right? Now, they're at the point where a lot of the bosses, like, they're not going to be able to tank even normals from a lot of the bigger bosses at this point. But, like, with that guaranteed dodge, and then, you know, the following turn, maybe if the boss is low HP, you could even throw out their active skill, which is able capable of doing a lot of damage. So that's pretty good. And then this last year, we have the 6th anniversary LRs, February 22nd. So we see the exact time frame when the 7th anniversary LRs are going to easy. But sure enough, these two are top five units in the game. I, I would actually argue... So I have not done... Um, an LR tier list in quite a while. Uh, there just has been no reason to update it, right, since the anniversary. Um, now, I would change a lot of placements on this tier list around, right? So don't don't hold me to anything below. This, the top three, would remain exactly the same to this day. I would not change the top three. I would probably shuffle quite a bit of this bottom. But this top three, this is exactly how I feel. Um, and I probably still would have Gogeta at four, I think. So the top four would definitely remain the same. Um, with UI Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta kind of in a tier of their own. I think above like all other characters in the game, basically. And I, 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 am, I feel strong about that. So when we look at the 7th Anniversary LRs, um, we know that it's going to be, you know... L let's just take a look at like February 22nd to the 24th on the calendar. Damn it. It's just on the new PC. This just looks so shitty. I got to just pull up a, a calendar. Yeah, this just looks so crappy, man. Hold on. All right. So probably in here, like the 23rd, 24th, 25th, February, 2025, it's, it's, it's going to be the start of this week right here. We're going to see the LR gods and LR super Saiyan four Gogeta EZA. And I'm saying maybe for like the first week of March, that's where we could see potentially the third anniversary LR super easy. Eh? I think there's a decent chance of that. And then maybe, you know, two of the four summonable LRs would be like a super Vegito and a super Gogeta, I think could lead to a really great celebration. So, all right, let's take a look. So I do think these two are like, you can almost just pencil them in to being top five level. Now, I do think that the LR Gods and LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta are not as good in the history of Dokkan as people think, right? Like, referencing Beast Gohan, Beast Gohan is the strongest character in Dokkan I have ever used, ever. Strongest character, without a doubt, in my mind. He's the strongest character I've ever used, right? I was not around day one for STR Gogeta when he first came out, but, you know, he is. He does, he does feel like the strongest character I've ever used. Um, I saw a lot of people referencing the 7th Anniversary LRs, and it's just incomparable. Like, they weren't, like, they were the best characters in the game, definitely, but they could easily just be killed left and right, nonstop, in those red zone fights. Like, the red zone fights were stronger than the 7th Anniversary LRs. It was more so an issue of just the entire game sucked ass. All of our characters were just not good enough for the red zone fights, is what it was. But... It's not because these two were badly designed. That is not the case. Their designs are excellent to this day. They have so many good tools. So I would assume a lot of, you know, in base, they're, you know, identical. I would imagine, my guess is that we could see this become 50%. If, I mean, if they really wanted to get dirty, I think they could. This could be 100%. I think this could be maybe a 100% stack and a 50% stack. Again, I'm expecting these characters to be top five. And this is top five after we potentially... The Tanabata LR is usually crazy. Worldwide download characters are usually nuts, right? And then the four anniversary LRs of the 10th anniversary will already be out. And I am expecting this character to be top five. So insanity, like a 100% stack on their 18 key is, I think, realistic. Because they're going to be, I, w I think, probably better than almost all characters. Like, like I would expect these two will be better than Beast Gohan. I don't, I don't think, I, there's no, I mean, they would have to be given so much. But, like, that's kind of what I think. I, I, I think that these guys will end up being better than what Beast Gohan is right now. 
be seventh and or trailers. Like they're gonna it's gonna be that much of a jump. Um one huge issue for them right now is they only this was an issue even when they first came out, that they only guard for one turn. So, you know, after the first turn, it's a little risky. I would think that they would sh- assuredly give them just guaranteed permanent guard. Um I could see maybe both of them potentially maybe even get damage reduction with Rainbow Orb. So it's like you have chance of crit per rainbow orb and then maybe add damage reduction to that as well. And then maybe jump the number up. 20% damage reduction and crit per rainbow orb or something like that. Again, remember, I'm expecting them to be better than Beast Gohan. Uh, and then, you know, some of this could still remain. I'm sure key mechanics will become quite easier. Like maybe this could jump up to like three key per type orb or something like that. Remember that the 7th anniversary LRs, again, speaking to their good design even the day they came out their fusion conditions this is what you want transforming character that's best case scenario right there that's perfect just turn four you you can choose when to transform turn four no condition that's perfect that's exact like this this is maximum fun fun is is what this condition is like like when they're like okay let's just let them have fun this is what they do if they want to be annoying they'll do like a blue Vegito or Tech Fusion Zamasu um, condition. That's annoying as hell. This is just uh, the one word I could think of, fun. That That's all that is right there. Now, once they transform, I, I would expect that one of the biggest things with this animation, I was doing my Burst Mo video earlier, and it's like that, that when, when, you, when they fuse into Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, like back then, it re- like it really did feel like you'd won. I mean, it, it, Broly and stuff could still kill him, but like it's like okay, like we're good now. I I really expect that feeling with their EZA. I mean, dude, this kid is already there. Isn't anything above massively? So I, right? Like I are, are they just gonna make the twelve key massively as well? You still have the attack break. I just dude, there's just. I, I, I mean, what do we expect that this guy's going to be doing seven super attacks? Like, like again, you, you look at the, their kid is good. Like, you have, the, you know, 100% stats there, 50% stats there. You have the attack break on their 18 key, which is really good. This is a strong ability, two keeper type key sphere. You know, we could bump that up. I mean, the gods are getting crit and, and dodge per Rainbow Orb, and LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is getting crit and damage reduction per Rainbow Orb. I mean, you shoot these numbers up to, you know, 25%. Oh my god, imagine the gods get 25% crit and dodge per Rainbow Orb, and you could just get to 100% dodge. How crazy would that be? <laughs> like, that's the type of shit I am, ex- I am legitimately expecting. I I, and I guess for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, it's the same thing. So you'd get 100% damage reduction with four Rainbow Orbs. I, maybe it would be more realistic to be 20%. So it's like, if you get the legendary five Rainbow Orb, you'd have 100% dodge and 100% damage reduction, but much more reasonable four Rainbow Orb, and Gogeta would have 80% damage reduction, and you'd have 80% dodge on them. They would both be so busted. Like, that's got to be what they do, right? And look, I mean, they still have, you know, super effective against all types. Guaranteed additional super. Then they've got crit and dodge built in. Like, these characters have good kits. Um, they're already doing guaranteed crits on the, the active. Remember that at, at the moment still, active skills cannot be changed at all. So that what the active skill does and the condition is all going to be the same. I mean, we could easily see them do something crazy you know, when they have 24 key, they get an extra 200% attack or some nuts shit like that, which would just buff the hell out of the active skill. I, I am expecting craziness. Like, I think, like, if you could really just put down, like, crazy shit, it, it would make sense to me for these characters. Um, because not only am I expecting them to be above, you know, Beast Gohan and UI and Vegeta and Carnival Gogeta and all these characters, right? I'm expecting them to be on the level of what the 10th anniversary LRs are going to be. So, and, and it's like, these are some of the most popular characters ever. And as Global showed us, I mean, at least the gods are one of the most owned characters ever as well. So, I, I mean, I, I just think that this this is going to be one of the greatest days in Dokkan history. A- again, probably February 25th, February 24th, February 26th, like in this range right here is going to be, you know, one of the best days in Dokkan history. 
and it's just these units are designed for maximum fun and that's what i think they're going to be by the way i didn't talk about it yet but they will be the first 200 percent leader skill characters to get an easy a like what what are the, I, I i don't even know i i i guess we can expect the 10th anniversary lrs would probably just have you know leader skills with more stats than we have now like we probably would go above the 200 percent because it's like outside of like i guess if they wanted to be minimal uh, maybe they would just do like key four right there i mean but even if they made this 180 percent uh, this is still buffing this to 210 so I, I mean i think leader skill stats will probably go up during the 10th anniversary just looking at these leader skills because if you touch it at all, besides giving them, you know, four key instead of three, touch any of these other stats and they have the highest stats leader skill in the game. Yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. But, uh, you know, these two, whew, they're going to change the game when they easy a for sure.